right, so we're going to set up a uh, double amp, one uh, amp faded to the left, one faded to the right, and then we're going to control the levels with a with the foot pedal and uh, fade in between the two guitars. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I've set up two amps, and I have them panned left and right, and the only thing I've done so far is I've I've op opened up both of the amps, and I've played my guitar and adjusted the master output so they're... Um, their levels are equal on left and right and so they sound kinda like you can put a pair of headphones on and it and it sounds uh, equal strength in, in your left and right ears so uh, not that you would have any other ears besides your left and right but you know what I mean so uh, what we want to do is pop over to the layout mode and then grab a foot pedal or whatever you want to use you could use a slider I don't care um, click to learn and then I'm gonna move my pedal so I'm moving the pedal and it looks like it's got it so I'm gonna turn the learn off and then we're gonna move over to the edit mode and what we're gonna do is click the pedal click map parameter and we're gonna to map to the first guitar which I have labeled left so that should be mapped and there it is. You can see a tab came up here. And then what we also want to do is map that same pedal to the second amp's uh, volume. So how do we do that? Simple. Hit the plus here. And that adds another mapping. And then we just drag over here. And that should pop up. And there we have it. So now let's check out what's happening now. We should have both, both sliders going somewhat... Uh, in sync looks like they're not totally in sync like they're a little bit off so let's see what's going on um, we'll go to the mappings I like to do it in the mappings you can also click here and look at the the parameter see that's what's going on here we have our our, our, our curve here set a little bit different for one of them so I'm gonna reset to default here I was playing around with this earlier so that's probably what happened there and if you come over here you'll see the same thing for our left side and you could you could do this all from this interface but we'll go over to the mappings tab and we can see all the mappings that we have for our on-screen pedal control right here and you can see the graphs of the um, the, the curve that it's gonna apply to the whatever effect whatever um, audio unit or whatever you're affecting so let's click here maybe double click there we double click and we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to invert this first one. So what that's going to do is when I have my pedal all the way down, we can go look down here. I turn all the way down and the first one, guitar left is all the way up, and guitar right is all the way down. And then I turn it all the way up and we're going to fade to the other guitar. So let me grab my guitar and see what that sounds like. Okay. Okay, that's my my clean guitar and then my distorted guitar. So that's nice. Uh, one thing that I've just noticed is that when I when I push my pedal all the way to to one end of its range, it goes all the way to uh, 6 or 5.9 for this one. And Let's let's change that so that doesn't happen. Let's go to uh, to here and move it down to uh, a zero, or let's do like a negative one or so, like that. Do the same thing for the other one. Oh, I'm positive still. There we go, and that's that. So now I'm not going to be blowing out my outputs on my uh, on the on the soundboard that I'm feeding to or my amplifiers. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Now, um, let's see if we, if we want to to use both of these these sounds at once, uh, like get a, a blend of them. How how's that going to work? Okay, so that's that's with them at equal uh, equal amounts. So the pedals uh, about as close as I can get to the middle, and and you can see this up here. This little gray dot moves as you push your pedal. So that's a nice way to to really see what your your pedal movement is doing and where you're at on this curve. So so what I've noticed is that let's listen to this one more time. I'm I'm going to put the distorted all the way up 
and then I'm going to listen to both of them together. So to me, that sounds like a little bit, a little bit quieter um, than I'd like it to be when I have both of them full on. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this curve so that the midpoint. So this is my input from my pedal, 0 to 127. And this over here, the y-axis, is my volume, which is what I have it mapped to. So I want the volume to be higher at the midpoint. So what I'm going to do is click here and create a point. There we go. And then I'm just going to drag it up, and we're going to go at about, um, we'll just try 7 and see how that sounds. And then what we're going to do is say copy, and then we're going to hop over to the first one and then paste it, and then invert it. It's a little secret there to make things easier so you don't have to go drawing that. So now, and if that's still not enough for you, you could crank it up even more. So um, that's about it. Uh, you, could, you could do all kinds of stuff with this. You could, you could take a knob and do the same thing, map it to multiple uh, effect des destinations. Uh, different parameters that you're modulating here. Um, so, so once you learn how to do these basic things, you can create uh, more complex things. So I hope you find this useful. Come back to audiopropeller.com for more.